So basically, right, me and my peoples is here at range 129. Right here. Right here. And uh, <laughs> we are right at range 129 in Epsica, New Jersey. I've lived in this area for a long time and I've never known this place being here. I love the park. I love the park. That is a beautiful Signing our lives away. All the rules and regulations. The kids are fine. Yeah, he said it's okay. So, I'm sorry about the background noise or whatever like that. Signing my life away with the consent or whatever. And there we go. I'm done. There we go. Move on to the next step or whatever. And then we should just, then we gotta go watch this video or whatever. I'm so Savannah. Yeah. Alright, now what do I do? Mm -hmm. Now what am I doing? You gotta click the um, go down, click, confirm. And then you're done. And that's it? Yeah, that's it. You gotta open me out of here. So... Um, does she gotta exit us out? Does she exit Oh, what did she, what y'all do? Oh. 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 But that was simple. Just, that's, that's information. Cool. Okay. I'm good. Let me flip the camera so y'all can look at these guns. So basically, like, we get in our rentals together, trying to figure out what we're going to do. As you can see, the sugar range is back there, or whatever. And we're just, like, super excited to, like, do this shit. I just can't wait to go back there and actually shoot a gun. <laughs> So just to advise, the smaller the gun is, the more kickback it has. Really? Yes. That's, that's so you mean like this little gun probably got more kick than this one? Yes. Just because with the smaller frame, it's not as, uh, it doesn't hold the recoil as much. Oh, okay. So okay, so then give me the nine. Yeah, I was going to say the nine. What's that so warm? That's so warm. Oh, yeah. What's that? That's a Taurus. That's the one oh. talking about. Look at that shit. Nah. Mm. I would do this one personally. That one. Just because it's it's very quality. I like this one. All right. Do you want to? What do you want to start with? Round wise. Do you want to just do a box for each? Or you want to do two boxes? Depends on box. Okay. Yeah. Do you guys want to pick up some targets for me right there? We give it a pick out some targets. Mm. For real. That's a zombie nigga, like. Zombie. Oh. Hold on, you go. There's a skeleton. 
Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna get that. <laughs> I'm doing this skeleton person. What y'all got? Y'all got a zombie. What you get, sir? I got this. He ain't know the standard nigga. Yeah, I'm shooting this brain out. Period. I need color. Oh, <laughs> right, we supposed to get two? the trigger until you're ready to shoot okay same deal with the nine so before i continue we're going to do eye dominance so if you guys would make a triangle with your hands and then the other hand you want to have your fingers on the palm and you always have want to have your thumb on the frame of the gun mm -hmm. so never on the slide right here just on on the frame just because sometimes it may pinch you don't want to pinch your fingers okay so when it comes to look the same they are the same company. They are. Because we've got one black one only, so they like the video or something. So, um, for New Jersey regulation, 10 rounds in each mag. So you get two each. So when you are loading them, 380s are a little bit different than nines. Okay? So how I correlate it is you can see that this is angled. It's going to fit into the gun nicely. Okay? So how I do that, or how I would correlate it, is... The tip of the gun is angled like that, it's going down range. So okay. you're going to take the backing of the gun, you're going to put it underneath his lips, and, like, and then push it through. So it's going to be to the back of this. With this 380, you can hold this down, it's a spring, so you can put more in. For the 9mm, same kind of deal, you're going to put the backing in underneath these lips and let it go and push it through. We're going to give you a speed loader. So I brought this out. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it in your hand. We're gonna put it on the on the table that you're gonna be at. You're gonna scrunch it first, okay? You see how that there's the bullet right there? Okay, that's how the bullet should look when you put it in there. You're gonna scrunch, push down. You're gonna put the bullet right there, the way it looks at the picture. Okay. You're gonna bring it up, and you're just gonna repeat the process. Okay. It's gonna be a little bit. It's gonna be um, more practical out there because I don't have any ammo. Okay. When the uh, magazines are all fully loaded, you're gonna put it in there, okay? It's gonna show you that there's a bullet in the chamber, okay? okay. There are two ways to charge the gun. So one, you press this slide stop lever right here, this button right there. It'll initially just put the bullet in the chamber for it to be ready to shoot. Another way to do it is there's serrations on here for a reason on both of them. So you can either cup it on top to pull it back, or you can pinch it. You never want to ride it. You don't want to go like this and just ride it with your hand. You always just want to let it go. Okay. Pull it back and let it go. Sometimes it does cause a jam. We don't want that to happen. So when it's all fully charged, okay, you're going to have your hand placement. Uh, you either have a T or you pivot your legs. You dominate like that. Whichever one you want to do. You're going to bring it up to eye level. You're going to focus the front sight in between the rear sights, always making this your prominent one, making these blurry. So since righty lefties, I'm a lefty myself. So you bring it out, you close up that eye, you're going to pull the trigger nice and softly, and then that's one round. So since this is a semi-automatic, you can continue. You don't have to pull the slide back, you don't have to do anything, you can continue going with it. Okay. When it's all said and done, and you have no bullets in the chamber, it's going to pop open like that automatically. Yeah. It's going to show you that there's no bullet in the chamber. What you do next is, there's this mag release right here, you pull this back, 
you place down the ejection port up and you're ready to load these again. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in each of your hands, just for practicality reasons, so you know what you're doing, so you feel a little bit more comfortable, and then you go in there. Okay. Yeah, just so you, I'm not just forcing you out yeah. there with nothing in your hands and you've never felt that. Okay. Are you a lefty? Yes. Okay, perfect. So how you would do it, and you're just going to, perfect. Okay, so how would you charge it? I don't know if this is, it is ambidextrous, so you can either hit this, or you pull this back. Okay, there you go. Then when you're ready to shoot, you focus on the front sight and between these, making these blurry, and then you pull the trigger nice and soft through if you like. Uh, and there you go. That's and we'll go 10 rounds and then we'll pop them. Ready? <laughs> All right, you want to do three in your and I? Nah. All right. Okay, so you're going to put in your hand. So you're gonna keep it off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. You're gonna place it like that. Now, how are you gonna charge the gun? Are you gonna push it? Are you gonna hit that? All right, hit that down. There you go. So you won't, so yeah, until you're ready to shoot. You bring it, just gonna pick it up a little bit more. There you go. I like this. Yeah, just because you wanna have more control. And then bring it up to eye level, focusing on that one, and then you pull. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just like the video game. <laughs> <laughs> Baby! So you want to, just because you, there you go. You want to cuff it a little bit more because sometimes with the jerky. Yeah. So how are you going to um, charge the button? Are you going to push the button or are you going to pull this button? There you go. Now. Yep. There you go. We're ready after her. I should have gone
her instructor. She's the nicest person in the world. <laughs> yes, yes. definitely know what she's doing. Definitely, she, you know what I mean? Yeah. I just, Next time I'll be That's ready the tray. That's what we doing right now. I did six. Did six? I did six. All right, the next one, you know what I mean? Next one, we got to do a full one. We got to do at least one full clip before yeah. we go. At least one full one. Yeah. All right. That silver one got kicked, yo, but I ain't, I ain't scared of it. <laughs> Of the shooting range but I just want to let everyone know that I had an amazing experience you know I'm the type of person I'm not really into like the gun thing but actually but after actually shooting one it was just a different experience you know and I've always wanted to go to a gun range and I never knew it was one around my area and I was just like super excited and I can't wait to go again, to be honest with you. I'm actually thinking about doing like a whole membership thing or whatever, but I would like to thank the staff of range 123, I believe, or 129, I'm sorry. Um, the staff was amazing. Uh, I'm gonna post their, uh, their website in the description below. Um, yeah, they was just so bubbly. Like, as soon as we walked in, I believe her name was Renee. She was just so bubbly. She welcomed us with open arms. You know, she just, the whole experience was just amazing. And then I got to meet one of the owners. His name was William. He was a nice guy. And then as we were leaving, like, the range or whatever, coming out of the, uh, where the shooting part is, uh, there was another guy there. I believe his name was Joey. He was one of the owners too. I would have never knew that he was an owner if he never said it because it actually, he actually blended in with his regular employees, which, you know, he can keep an eye on things. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I would definitely go there again. And, um, it was just in a big adventure for me and my, um, my, my people today. So, um, make sure you smash that subscribe button, smash the like button, comment down below. Uh, comment down below the type of videos that you want to see in the future. I know I've been slacking a lot with my YouTube channel, but with the whole pandemic, the COVID, you know, I, I just couldn't really get out and do anything. So, make sure you that you're still practicing social distancing. Just because the economy and everything is opening back up doesn't mean that COVID is over because it's far from over. People are still getting infected and everything like that. And just remember to practice social distancing. Stay away from people as much as you can. And 
that is it but i will definitely see you guys in my next video and i will talk to you later bye bye yeah.